right now getting out of the dressing room is the main thing whether he was going to play the game or not and he's not he's coming out so he's not going to play that sight game led by Richie Giacchetti his returning trainer here comes Mike Tyson and the crowd erupts here in the arena he's trying to win the heavyweight title for a third time to emulate Muhammad Ali and Evander Holyfield as usual, no, no robe, just the, the cutout towel, no socks, but a, a mystique, a cloak of invincibility that is tenuous, predicts, in his words, a sensational victory looking for the early knockout, but says if a decision comes, he'll take that too. Tyson said he can't conceive of himself losing. But in contradiction, he also says there is some doubt. The reported cut over the left eye sustained in training, which postponed the original May 3rd date, said to be of no consequence now. He claims he's 100% ready physically and mentally, saying, quote, if Holyfield wins, he'll beat me at my best. Bobby, do you think Tyson will resort to roughhouse tactics? You know, I think on the inside he will try some roughhouse tactics. That's what he's supposed to do. Put some hurt on Vander Holyfield, wear him down. He has what appears to be the stronger body. Wear down Vander Holyfield. Here comes Mike Tyson. The reaction is mixed, but mostly applause and cheering. The question is, in many minds, what will happen to Mike Tyson the first time he gets hit? Well, you know, many times fighters do revert back to what comes natural to them, rolling and banging. But let's, re let's remember something, if they roll and bang and they get in that kind of fight, I think it's advantageous to Mike Tyson if Evander can revert into that type of fight himself.